Hey, what's up, Troll fam? DJ from Troll Media here, bringing you affordable tech, camera gear, and entertainment. So if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification next to it so you don't miss anything. Last week, I made a video about making free logos and a free software called Inkscape. This week, I'm gonna show you how to make overlays and lower thirds still using that free software called Inkscape. And we're also gonna do a little collaboration with DaVinci Resolve, which is another free program. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is get these two programs. So you're just gonna go into Google, Google Inkscape, and then you'll download that. They have tons of different kinds of versions for different operating systems. And then also get DaVinci Resolve from their website. You can Google that as well. DaVinci Resolve is gonna be from a company called Blackmagic Design, and then you're gonna download their free version, and then you'll be able to start off with what I'm doing right now. So right off the bat, we're gonna go into Inkscape, and inside of Inkscape, you're gonna see it opens up as a normal document. You wanna go up to File, Document Properties, and then you're gonna to wanna to actually change the document properties to 1920 by 1080. And that's gonna be a normal full HD resolution. Now right off the back, you can see here, I have my own design already on the screen. You can see that this is gonna be our end product and then we're actually replicating it. And you can do your own designs that you want in your own time. I just wanted to show you all this kind of technique because I know a lot of people like to use the boxes for their overlays or for their lower thirds. Just like people like Nick Nemin, this is his kind of style using the boxes. Mine is more of the ovular type of style as you can see when it pops up with my name. But for this, I wanted to show you the basics of making overlays and lower thirds. So let's jump right on into it. So right off the bat, you can see that there's two boxes here on this one. This is gonna be our name card because the name card is already gonna have your name on there. It doesn't really need to be editable unless you wanna edit your name. And this one, we're gonna actually make two different boxes and we're gonna need two different layers. So over here in the layers, you, as you can see, I have a subscribe layer and a name card layer. So the way I did that is I just pressed the little plus button next to it and then I named the layers each one. So for this case, since I already have the layers there, I'm gonna name it name card two and subscribe two. Now that we have that, click on the first layer that you wanna edit and then from there, you're gonna draw a box. So for me, I'm drawing a green box. I'm gonna grab the text tool and then I'm gonna click in the box and then I'm gonna type out DJ Carmen Tro Media. All right, now that I did that, I'm gonna change the color to white by just staying on the text, and now I'm gonna click on the white box down at the bottom, and then it's gonna turn my text to be white. Now that I have that, I can click onto the other layer. Make sure you click onto the other layer, or else you're gonna edit into that layer. So click on the other layer, draw another box, and this one is gonna be red, so make it red. And then you're gonna grab the text layer, and then you're gonna click inside of that red box. You wanna add the text. I added subscribe for more just because it's cool and it makes people think about subscribing to your channel. Something that you really wanna make sure that a lot of your viewers are doing if they're not already. And it's also just a nice gesture. And also keep in mind your layers, your shape layers are gonna have a stroke around it. If you don't want that stroke there, just go down to the bottom left where the colors are and you'll see the name stroke, and you're gonna right click that and press remove or delete stroke. All right, now after you have that, you're just gonna go over to where the layers are, turn off the original layers that we edited, and then I just dragged over my overlay to the left side, because that's where overlays in the lower thirds typically tend to pop up on the screen. So now from there, you wanna actually turn off the different eyes for the different layers. The reason why we're gonna do this is because we're gonna animate it later in DaVinci Resolve, which is a video editor. So turn off the name card, and then you want to actually keep the subscribe card on. So so now that the eyeball is on, you wanna go down to the export properties, which are there. They should already be there, but if they're not, just go to file, export, PNG now. So then it'll pop up on the right side. Now that you're here, you wanna make sure you click on the page button, which is at the top. That's gonna to set it to the full HD resolution. So from there, you want to go to the export as, go to your location you wanna save it to, name it, and then you can press the export button at the bottom right, and it'll quickly get you your PNG image. Now that you have that, let's shoot right on over to the other project, which is still gonna be an Inkscape, and this is gonna be for the lower third graphic. You can go up to the top, file new, or if you already have it open, you can just go over to that. So I already have it open, so I'm gonna open that up, and then this is what the lower third looks like that we're gonna do for today. And really, it's just a gray box and then the red box on top of it. So the way I did that was, again, I had to save it as a 1920 by 1080p project. And then after I did that, then I, I just followed the exact same steps. So I have two different layers, and this one I'm gonna name it overlay and then subscribe two. So they're both number two. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, then you wanna make sure you click on one of the layers and you're gonna draw your box. So we're gonna draw the gray box. I started outside of it and drew inside because I wanted to cover all the way over to the edge of this box. So just to be safe, I drew it outside of the project. And then after you do that, you're going to click onto the other layer and you're gonna draw a red box. 
and then I drew a little red box on top of that because we're gonna make that pop out of the box later on in our editing. So now that you drew that red box, while you're still on that layer, make sure, the second layer by the way, make sure you click on the text tool, click inside of that box, and then type out what you want. Since it's red, I'm making this a subscribe for more button. Okay, now that we type subscribe for more into the little red box, these two layers are pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna take away the original layers that I had there. I'm gonna move this one down just cause I had it there as a reference. Then from there you can turn off the eyeballs again and then you can save it to wherever your location is. Now you wanna go over to DaVinci Resolve. Inside of DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna start a new untitled project. Mine has already started so I didn't have to do that, but you're just gonna start that project and then you'll be right here where I am and inside of it you want to actually drag over your different files but before you drag that over you want to make bins so for me I'm going to right click here and then I'm gonna add in bins so right click add bin and then it's gonna open up into a new window it's fine you'll be able to get back to the normal window in a second you're gonna name this whatever you want I'm gonna name it name card then I'm gonna drag my two different graphics from my name card folder into this bin and then now you can go over to the master part of the media file and then you're gonna make another bin and you're gonna name this subscribe so inside of the subscribe one is just like before drag the subscribe PNGs over into this project and now you should have what you need so press master again and then you can just drag over your foot uh, video footage of you talking on camera or whatever that you want if you haven't already from here you're gonna go over to the edit menu at the bottom click on that and then inside of edit you're gonna actually start dragging things in and you want to drag in the video first of course on video one if you need to add an extra track which you do I added three more tracks because we're gonna have two tracks for the two different kinds of overlays and lower thirds and then I added a fourth track just so that I can add text inside of the video editor. So now from here, you're gonna go over to your name card bin, and then inside of there, you're just gonna drag the two inside of the different tracks. So drag the name card to video two, and then drag subscribe to video three. From here, you can see that it already is ready to go, and it can actually play without adding any animations. But we wanna add animations to this. So from here, we're gonna actually go over to the effects controls at the top left, click on that, and then you can see that there's tons of different kinds of effects that you can do, or transitions, I should say. And you can choose the different types that you want, but for me, I already have the ones that I really want to add to this set in stone. For the name graphic, I added a center white for the name part and then I added a box wipe for the top part with the subscribe button and then for the end of it I did an X wipe so that they can just wipe out together for the overlay graphic or lower thirds text I did the exact same thing all I really did is I just changed different kinds of transitions so for this one I did the band wipe for it to start out and then I did the edge wipe for the subscribe button to come from underneath the first box so that it looks like it's just popping out of it. So from there, I added in text because this is the overlay graphic so you need to add text to it and it will be editable. And you wanna add the text inside of your video editor so that you don't have to always go back to Inkscape to edit things. You can do it that way if you want, but it might save you some time, well actually it will save you some time if you could do this inside of your video editor. So now you just wanna add the text. By going over to the left, you'll see there's lower thirds text already there. I just dragged out the lower thirds left inside of the project. I moved the subscribe button up to the fourth track and then I put the text on the third track. I just did it that way because I wanted it to be formatted that way. You can do it however you want. It's always gonna work out. All right, now that we're here, you wanna just add in your text. I always use impact, but you can choose whichever font that you want and then you can move the different things around by just clicking on them and then you can move the text wherever you want. And to end it out, I use the smooth cut for the transitions on the text for the start and end of it, and then I ended the overlay graphics transitions with the smooth cut as well. And to save this video, all you have to do is go down to the deliver part at the bottom, click on that, at the top you'll see YouTube, you can just press YouTube, choose the 1080p option, and only the other change that I do is I change the frame rate to 23,976, just because that's drop frame and I kind of like that because it's in film, you always want to expect it. But you can also do custom settings here and all the other things, and the best part is it really doesn't even take that long for it to save videos. And that's pretty much how you add overlay text and also name cards as well as lower thirds to your videos using Inkscape and DaVinci Resolve for free. Let me know if I can help you guys out with anything else and comment down below what you liked about this video or if I can help you out with anything. Go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you wanna learn anything else. And as I always say guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.